Welcome to Godmodius Plays Total War Rome 2 Isseni Faction The Britain Campaign. This is episode 01 Iska, which is the Domoni Faction. I am King Adiatorix, and this is the story of how I conquered the world. In this episode, we're going to get you up to speed with exactly what our situation is and who our main players are and outside of that we've got well we've got to be visiting visk iska today and and perhaps it won't go so well for iska we shall see we shall see so here's our cir circumstance i am king adiatorix that is me and uh this is my kingdom now right now <coughs> you notice that i have an heir, <clears throat> and that heir, his name is Dagomoros. He is Prince Dagomoros, and he is my, well, only living child. So essentially, he's my only child. I have adopted children over here, but this, Dagomoros, is my only child. He is my heir, so he means everything to me. And because he is my heir, my, my next most Im uh, important person in the kingdom is going to be his eldest, which is, in this case, Catu, Catu Volcus. Now, in our society, the eldest is all that matters. If, 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 if uh, one of these girls were older or younger than Catu Volcus. Now, I should, should point out, once somebody is made a general, they're automatically shown to be the age of 30. He was older than all of these ladies. Uh, but, well... <clears throat> He isn't now, so, <laughs> uh, I mean, he is, but he isn't. Uh, so everybody wants to be a general, so it's a very prestigious position, and right now, we got a couple people in the Navy that probably need to be shifted out, but we're, we're, we're not, we're not going to uh, deal with that issue right now. For right now, you, you really got to, you got these people right here, is finally Blondia. Blondia is my wife. And she is my queen, Queen Blondia. Now, before we get into, we're going to come back to them a little bit here. I get a little bit of a situation of uh, exactly who and what we are. We're the Aseni. And we are, well, we're on this whole island here. This whole thing is basically Great Britain. And so our goal basically is to eventually conquer Great Britain. And in this episode, we're just going to be dealing with the uh, Domani. Now... What we have been doing up to this point, uh, starting off before any of the cameras showed up, is we maximized our technology. All of that is maxed out. While we've been growing, we've also been, or in our technology, I should say, we've also been basically given money hand over fist to all of the communities around us. And uh, really, if you're successful, then we gave you more money. So, like, the Swaby have gotten a lot of money from us. But yet, despite that, the Swaby remain neutral about us. So, that's rather interesting. So, there we have our situation. And now, after all this time where everybody loves us, it's, it's about ready to begin a new standard or a new tradition in... Oh, well, I should point out here that the, the capital here is uh, Camelodunum. So this is where we're operating from. Camelodunum hopes to basically one day rule the world. That's a dream. Now, I say it like it's already happened, and that's what you do when you're a confident man with swagger like me with certain gifts and abilities and advantages in the world, if you know what I'm saying. Which you will as this series goes on. For right now, what we're dealing with is, well, this is me. I am King Adiatorix, as I said, and this is the army that I march into battle. It's a very interesting army because it really requires a support group. And if I can't get my reserves with me, I could be in a bit of a trouble. So it's a bit of a mix. I'm the only cavalry in this setup. And so, well, I, I, I really put myself out in the front line all the time. And this is basically essentially an artillery battery. It's designed to take cities. And then, as a backup, well, of course, we're going to have a backup for me. It's going to be my queen. 
And there she is, Queen Blondia, leading. Uh, basically, this is just melee attack, guys. That's all we've got in our arsenal right now. We're hoping as we potentially conquer other regions, we eventually get some access to some mercenaries with a lot more, with, with a lot better skill sets than we have, including our Navy, by the way. And just to give you a little sense of our Navy, it's a dog Navy, and we're not fight. even using it. We're not even using it in this. It's just not even worth it. It's embarrassing to show Can to anybody. So there I, there's my queen, and there I am, and we're together. And we're basically the primary army, the, the, the primary invasion army. Now, eventually, as we get bigger, we will probably end up with another invasion army, basically. Eventually, well, we'll get to that, but, well, we'll get to it now because I started it. I can't leave you guys hanging because I'm a decent human being. So we have Prince Doug Moros. Right now, I just have a, I just call him, he's just a defensive unit. And Prince Doug Moros, remember, he's the heir. And then we have Prince Catavolcus, who is Prince... Uh, Dagomaros' son, and they're probably going to possibly their wives eventually will be partnered with them doing basically a cavalry reserve because they're married. So we don't put we don't put non-direct blood in <coughs> in the prestigious what's called the 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 assault the assault army. We don't put them in the assault army, so we certainly. Only the king, he's the primary, that's me of course, the primary army that goes out to conquer. And right now, all we need is this primary set of me and my wife. And we're going to go out and one by one, our goal is to pick all of these guys up. But we gotta, we got to be a little bit patient as we get there. And who knows what kind of surprises we'll have. Essentially, the, the general rule is you can... <coughs> For every assault assault uh, team that you use, you can use them four times within the course of a one-year campaign. Or, but the caveat being, you can only conquer one faction per year. So in this case, we have we have multiple factions. We have the over here in Isca we have the Damani. Over here in Moradunum we have the Damatai. Uh, way out here in Ablana Ab that's the Edbani, and then we have the great power here of the Brigantes. These right now the Brigantes are the real power in the land, and we're kind of upstarts. Nobody really knows anything about us, but we've kept a lot of things under wraps, so nobody really takes us very seriously and. We've always been, all they know that we do have money and we don't seem to be aggressive. But that's about ready to change. You know what I'm saying? That is about ready to change. We're about ready to march on Iska. But before we can march on Iska, well, what we got to do is we have to, um, let's go to diplomacy. And we going to have to go visit our the, oh, oh, the money the money friends I tell you what before we do that though let's let's just kind of get ourselves positioned in an advantageous position should conversations go a little bit skirt of birds so we just get my me up here get my wife she's going to be up front but there's a reason I always want to make sure that I take my reserve with me because, like I said, if I'm not, if I, if I basically, if I am without my reserve, I, it'll be a very, very difficult time for me. I, I could be, it could be done. I could, I could manage, but it'll be very, very, it'll be a long grindy grinds, and I want to avoid grindy grinds. I want to, if I can, try to avoid grindy grinds, and that's. That's the hope and dream of uh, every boy and girl that's uh, watching this show, even as we speak. So here I am, King Adiatorix, and I'm about ready to launch the first war. And it's going to be against the Dunmani. So this is going to be the Battle of Iska. Here we go, folks. Have 
your women bid farewell to their men, for your heads will decorate our standards. And it looks like we have 1,440 reinforcing. We have 1,200 units, so we have 2,640 units facing, it looks like, oh, uh, 3980, 4080, 4135, and they have, they have boats coming up, so we're going to have to watch where the boats land, and let's see the situation here. Looks like we're about ready to go into the Battle of Iska facing the Dunmani faction. And we hope for nothing more than the extermination of the Dunmani faction. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going in. Now, at this point, <clears throat> I'm going to be cutting this part in the YouTube version. This part won't show up, so everything I'm saying here, none of this is going to be heard by anybody but this live stream. So this is exclusive live stream coverage. You're not, I'm not going to show the, the, well, what you're going to see is me trying to stage uh, a visually pleasing uh, battle. That's that's the goal here. And so I'm going to figure out. Uh, got this guy's coming up from here. So I want to be right here. All right. Let's get my. I'm probably going to have people landing over here. So. I think. I uh, think I'm going to put my, my guy right there. Oh, wait. I want to put me in my special special group. Now, when you're watching the live stream, if I do this and then in the end, oh, no, I did a boo-boo. I did a boo-boo. I did a boo-boo. I, boo I can't believe it. I got to go back. Oh, no, man. Hmm. Man, I did a boo-boo. I did not... Save the pre-battle for this. So that's going to be. Hmm. I'm sorry, folks. I've got to. I got to do this right. So let me. Uh, I gotta go back in time, get it repositioned, and do it all over again. But I'll do it as quick as I can. No, nobody will know. YouTube video won't won't see this. Because I've got to save this so that when I'm done and then I record the battle, I can come back to it because I need to get the visual of the city being conquered at the end. For That's where I'm going to pick up the YouTube thing. So so this is part of the live stream. Uh, my errors, you'll see the errors and all that. Your next command. So whatever. I really suck as a human being and I apologize. Please don't judge me for the fact that, uh, well, quite frankly, for the fact that I'm just not, uh, well, I was going to say something that's not true because we all know that I am actually perfect and uh, the errors that I demonstrate are for Thirsty your for <coughs> encouragement. In point of fact, so let's get this back over here. Moon goddess, guide my steps. And then we'll get uh, <coughs> the wife back in front. Can I finish my wine? See, it's worth it. It's worth it to do this right. Ah, cancel. To travel is to be free. Now let's make sure that we have 
<clears throat> Killed our diplomacy first. It's generally not a good idea to, to attack people while they still like you and you have treaties with them. So you got to end there the treaties no first. Honor in swapping bauble. And I know I did As that in the last wish. one, and make sure I did that to this one. So there you go. So, all right, now I'm going to save this pre. Oh, yeah. Uh, pre Iska. Pre Iska. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So now we can do this right, and Ready nobody, the YouTube video people, won't see this. And I already did this part, already did this, already did this. See, it was worth it going back in time to do this right. You know? At least I think so. So now the goal here is to do the battle in as awesome a way as possible. Oh, well, please, please don't end up with fog. Oh, whoo, 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 whoo. Woo woo woo! Woo woo woo! Alright, we want to set her up right here. Yeah, I set this guy right there. It's gonna be kind of a thrust. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five of you. How long, how wide can we. Uh, Put you right there, and we'll put you in guard mode. Then we got <coughs> put you in a nice little grouping here. Get you. Oh no no! Got to get you stacked up there, and then we're gonna have our little flanks. Because I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna just put you over here. Heroic nobles! And this Battle flank. Group ready. I'm gonna be having an eye on that path right there, so I think I will put this group right. There. So in an unusual position. Yeah, I'm gonna try I'm trying something a little different here. And then as the cavalry comes in, that'll be decided by where they come in. So now I'm going to do the start battle. And I'm going to be, basically for these parts of it, it's going to be mostly just fast forward. And I pause whenever. Our reinforcements have arrived. All right, suppress advice. So these guys, are you coming up to challenge fundamentally? Uh, if they're not coming up to challenge fundamentally, now those guys are landing there. So now I've got the horsey. So one, two, three, four, five. One group. One, two, three, four, five. Second group. Third group. Fourth group. So let's say this group. <coughs> Where do I want this group to be? I'm going to go and be more aggressive and say, I want to have this group go directly into them. And then the second group, second group, I'm going to have try to cut these guys off. So the third group third group. I don't know if you still have reserves coming up there or not. So the third group I'm going to have like this. And the fourth group I'm going to push the fourth group forward to here. So hopefully that'll create some cool visuals. Let's see. They're getting hammer slammered. 
But I tell you, where's my horses? There they're coming. The horses are coming. Look at that. Nice. I'm happy with how things are shaping up here. Now let's pause it. Now that we've got them positioned. And we got these guys. And I'm feeling like at this point... Oh, no. These guys. What the heck? Aha. Yeah. Tricky. 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 Wee. Yuck. So let's sweep you guys around to basically let's get you where do I want you you know I think I'm gonna have you go right here yeah I'm gonna bring you right down to there meanwhile you guys I think we can move up. I think we can move you guys on up to here. And you guys? I think I already have you guys. Wait, where are you guys? Ah, uh, let me just see real quick. Okay, you're not moving. Okay, good. So you guys then? I'm going to move you guys. Down to here. You guys are here. Let's move you in like this. Let's move you in position here. All right, so let's see how that goes. Oh, wait, where's my general at? Yeah, general, why don't you go for their general? <clears throat> Is that their general? Okay, so. Doing battle with their general. See if I can get him to grind him down. All right, pause. So, what's the situation here? We got you guys coming around there. you back there meanwhile you know what never mind oh I could let me see I got to think about where I want to put you I'm gonna put you there and I'm gonna bribe you guys then can go forward and I'll have you guys go in for here Cross here, and you cross there. You go here, and you go there. Okay. So then, up here, what do we get going on here? we have you guys
why don't we have you guys try to flank him in down here? Coming from behind. Meanwhile, group are you? Now this group. So you can move on up to here. We're going to be addressing that threat. Meanwhile, down here, let's get these guys formed up to here. These guys, you're here. Let's get you formed up to here. Meanwhile, you two get on down to here. And their general, you're going to go for there. You're going to go for the victory spot. Meanwhile, the artillery is still doing its job. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. And uh, I think I'm going to end the battle here. Yeah. And they won't see this part, so. Yeah! End battle. Oh, wait, I got to save re replay. <laughs> so, this is Iseni. O one Iska. There we go. And what kind of results we got? Well, man, we killed almost all of them. We have uh, two hundred and I don't think I think this will be the end of them. I think that we killed enough so that there's not another army, but we'll see. And that that battle in actuality, even though. It, took a lot longer to plan actually and they lasted five minutes but now what we're going to be doing decisive victory decisive victory is let's see decisive victory <laughs> occupy that's what we want to do ready for orders Okay, so serve my people ready for orders. So I'm gonna take you out. That way is shut. So now So now what we're gonna be doing is now that we've uh, pulled out of here, we're gonna save this as uh I'm gonna save this as post disc uh, Post Iska. There we go. And uh, then we're going to load the battle. Or wait, no, that. Sorry, got to go to main menu first to load the battle. Now, once we get to the first part of, well, well when the battle's about ready to begin then I'm going to turn off the microphone because that, that part, the battle itself is going to be with no commentary. So we'll see how that works out. That's what I'm going with right now. Hmm, I got to think about that. Do I want to have commentary on it? I don't think I do. I think I want to try to concentrate on making something as visually interesting as possible. So let's do that. I just go with the last auto save, and that'll be the last battle that I fought. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is, when I'm done here, is I'm going to stop the recording, and then I'm going to upload it on the YouTube and try to edit it in YouTube to cut out the parts and see how well that works. And well, we'll see. 
this is an experiment, so. Now, at this point, I think I'm going to... I'm going to leave the microphone on. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn it off. I, I'm going to turn it off. So... So this is the Battle of Isca. This is the city that we will be taking. We won't even be using any of our navy. And we have here, well, we can see that they've got ships that are gonna be landing over on the coast, which would be to our left. And we've got, looks like concentrations of troops within, but it looks like we got units already possibly coming out. So let us begin the Battle of Iska. I want this place torn to pieces. How dare they hide behind these walls and not face us in open battle? Take these walls, men, then take their lives. Then whatever you will, their wives, their slaves, their booty. Here comes the cavalry to strangle the opposition. So far, no one has been able to even approach our front lines. And now, here comes the cavalry assault. First contact.
And that is the end of the Battle of Iska. The Dunmani faction have fallen. But is this the end for the Dunmani faction? We'll find out. Okay, so this now is the part that won't show up. So I'll, I'll show them this thing so they can see the numbers then. And then we'll go back to the pre. So the pre Iska, I want to show the, basically we're going to take the city now. So... Tribe. All righty, I forgot to do this part. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait a second. I just want to make sure. Oh, yeah, okay, good, good. I just wanted to make sure that, uh, yeah. All right. So this part won't be seen. We will siege to their hovels. So I'm going to let this stand up for a bit so I know this is when I'll stop. So yeah. let me... I'll go to the auto resolve assault screen. I'll let it sit up there for a moment. And I know this is what I'll cut it. Oh man, <laughs> let's find out if I get killed or not. All right. The Dunmani faction has been destroyed. I live to serve oh, my, my queen did not get any improvements. I, I did I'm get improvement. Now. Let's see. Let's improve me here. We're going to go with warrior. Gone down a path where we can improve our missiles. We want missile approval because we're an assault. Uh, the queen will be looking for cavalry charge type stuff because she's a cavalry person and meanwhile we'll make sure that Iska is upgraded and so Iska is upgraded and let's just see look at our map here real quick and see that we have now added Iska so this is our little kingdom now our kingdom has grown a little bit uh, we're still going to be nice to the Brigantes ain't even trying to mess with the Brigantes it's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. No, no problems here. And you know what we're gonna do though? We're gonna we're gonna do something right now. Just this is what we've been doing throughout. But we're just gonna do this right now. We're gonna go through and we're gonna give. Welcome, see, worthy friend. Giving you. Let us break bread and drink ale before words. Giving pass you the money lips. months. There you go. Give you a big old boatload of money because we want to make sure they got. The awesomest militaries that they can to offer us so that we can have good practice, as it were. And uh, hit up the Brigantes here. Give the Brigantes their little bit fatty cashies. Get your fatty cashies, Brigante babies. Yeah. You know it's all good. We're all loved. And uh, let's just see the Eb Ebdani here. Gotta get the Ebdani, man. Gotta hook you up, boss. You honor us. You know There's it. There's food you know enough it. for two armies away. Yeah, us when we see, have we're talked. peaceful, man. Don't listen. We had to deal with uh, we had to deal with uh, the Dunmani because they were they were like 
sacrificing pigs, and we all know how much we all love pigs. Old so praise to the gold. We put an end to that, man. We put an end to that. I don't want to hear your dribble. You got my money. And, you know, it's enough that you got my money. You should be happy with that. Now, I just want to make sure that uh, we got things now saved for... Let's uh, save this as uh, post isca here. So we're ready to go to the next turn. And I do this, folks, just in case something goes horribly wrong and I have the power to go back in time and fix things. And if that happens, you won't see it. And if it does happen, well, you'll be glad I was there to fix things, to make things anew. Now, we're coming to the end of this episode, which... Well, we'll see what happens, but the end of this episode is we... Well, we're, let's just go through here first. Make sure that all of our people are upgraded. Our main people are upgraded. Uh, Doug and Morris, we'll make sure his wife is upgraded. And eventually we want to get... We're going to get you out in the in the, in the mean streets there, uh, Giama. Don't worry. 7% uh, shots per minute for all units. We'll put that for her. That's nice. And then we've got mm, the eldest here, and that is uh, Katavolkus. Looks like he likes to party. And meanwhile, his wife is Brixtay, and Brixtay, we're going to definitely have to get her a unit, too. So we'll, we'll make those changes soon enough. Right now, though, we're just going to go forward and, and end our turn. Here we go. So we're going forward. The uh, year's campaign is up. I've come back madly victorious because I have put an end to the dreaded Dunmani faction. What more can you say, folks? I have done it all. You have seen me do it all. I congratulate myself, and I congratulate you for being able to be a witness to this. And look, what do we got? What news we got here? We got a child is born, Bellatorix. Okay. Uh, Giami has returned. Yes, she's returned home. And Rabori has returned home as well. And that's why we couldn't do anything with her. That well, It's a long story. Don't worry about it, kids. But we do have some manner of intrigue. A merchant from distant lands has arrived in our lands. He has brought a strange new dye that creates a rich color our people have never seen before. Adopt the dye. Let him trade. Do nothing. We're going to... We're going to adopt the die, man. We're going to go with that. We're going to adopt the die. And do we have any more upgrades or anything to make before... Or do we have any... What is, what is this? Uh, provoke? Oh, no. What I'm looking for is if I see Entice. And get more people over to our faction. I'm looking for that. But uh, I'm just looking for it for our main people here. Just... Uh, See, see, these ladies, they'll, they'll become some mains if, if, if they get positions. But right now, i got to get the top priorities to, uh, to really the eldest. Because these people aren't my direct line. I'm hoping to have more kids, if it's possible. If I ever get another kid, that would be great. But right now, it doesn't seem like that's possible. So I think that that is where we're going to end things today. We'll save this as. Uh, why don't we save this as. End. Done. Money. There we go. End done done money. That seems like a good way to save that, and that's what we'll pick off in the next episode. So, let's get a uh, little gander of where we're at there. And this is our little kingdom here. We got the Brigantes here, and we're not going to give them any more money. And we've got the Demetai, and the Demetai, I think uh, the Demetai, I think they're going to be our next target. We're going to go for the Demetai, and then the Edbani, before we come to the Brigantes last, because they are by far and away the most powerful of, of all of these factions. So, we'll get the Demetai, and then we'll go on over to the Edbani, and then we'll go after the, yeah, I think that's, that's the game plan. So, hey. This has been Godmodius Plays, Total War, Rome 2, the Yeseni Faction, the Britain Campaign. This has been Episode 1, Iska, the Dunmani Faction. We'll see you on the next episode.